Hello everyone and welcome to Moon Nature. My name is Elisa and as you can see today's video is a bit more different than usual. I decided to interact a bit more with you guys and I hope you like it. Please let me know in the comments below if you prefer this kind of video and I think we should get started on today's project. So Robotime was sending me some of their DIY kits to try them out and to share with you guys and I decided to make this Stereo Dreams and the Unicorn display case in this video together with you and give my own little touch to it and yeah, let's get started. So yeah, the first thing I'm doing is unpacking the box. I really love the design of the whole box, it looks so magical. There are a lot of bags included in the box with glitter, tools, components for crafting, colors and air drying clay. There's also a wooden plate and the glass cover. There's no manual coming with the kit which first confused me a bit but then I found the QR code on the sheet of paper where they show the different things that you are supposed to craft with this kit and if you scan it you are linked to a YouTube playlist with videos that show you how to craft all the different parts for the kit. So the first thing I'm doing is taking the purple clay, roll it into a ball and flatten it with the acrylic glass sheet that came with the kit. I make sure to match it in size with the image sheet and then put it away to dry. Then I'm taking the wooden gate and release it from the wood sheet. I decided not to paint it white and baby pink, but pink and mint colored. Then I took the gold wire from the kit and the little star charms, but I decided to edit some beads in between them to make it look even cuter. Then I just wired the star chain around the gate. I 
also glued some of the golden glitter stars onto the gate that came with the kit. And the gate is done! Then I made a lot of things for the kit but I decided to color the white clay with pastel chalk dust to have a bit more of a pastel color palette. I made leaves, flowers, the little roses and all the details that I wanted to implement in my version of the kit. For the unicorn, I decided that I wanted to take a My Little Pony figure that I still had instead of sculpting my own and giving her some inserted eyes as well. I'm starting by wiping off the face with pure acetone and removing the hair. Then it's time for cutting the eyes. I'm going very slowly and carefully and use a sharp new blade for my X-Acto knife. Once I'm done with it, it looks something like this. It was when I decided to airbrush her because I felt the pink of the pony wouldn't fit the colors of the rest, so I gave her a light purple shade. Then I'm giving her a face up by adding some blushing, eyeliner and eyelid lines.
I also painted some little hearts and stars next to her eyes and added some glitter to finish everything up. I painted some hearts and stars as her cutie mark as well and the repaint is done! Now I needed to make her some eyes. I took some polymer clay and pushed it into these silicone eye molds that I bought from Etsy. They worked super amazing and the eyes were easy to be released from the mold. I then baked them and painted the iris in a teal color. Then I added several layers of rhinestones and glitter and cued them under the UV lamp. Once I was happy with the result, I domed them with UV gel and glossed them over with clear UV varnish. I'm absolutely in love with these eyes. I think making eyes like this is my new hobby. Inserting the eyes into the pony was kind of tricky. I had to cut out a plate from the back of the head, but I managed to do it in the end and it looks so beautiful. I also made her some little antlers from polymer clay. For her hair, I made some curled yarn wefts. I cut out the tail hole from the pony, took some of the wefts, pushed them together, added some glue to the tail hole and pushed in the tail. I glued on the antlers and the hair to the head and put the pony back together. After adding some accessories to the head as well, she looked like that and I love how the pony turned out. And yeah, I think we can put everything together now. First I'm taking the wooden plate and put some batteries in it. Then I'm attaching the LED chain to the little outlet and tape it down on the plate. Also make sure to try if it works.
Then I'm taking the purple plate and glue it onto the wooden plate. I first wanted to use lighter purple and paint it a lilac, but it wasn't necessary in the end. I also made some slits where I wanted the gate to be. Then I'm taking the soft purple wool that came with the DIY kit and glue it onto the clay plate. The next thing I'm attaching is the gate. Then I'm gluing in the pony and add all the little details that I made. I also added some additional pom-poms and rhinestones. The last thing that needed to be done is wiring the LED chain around the whole scenery and adding the glass case. And it's done! It looks so beautiful and it gives such an ambient feeling. It's like a little mini forest in a glass case and I'm absolutely in love with this. I can't wait to use this as a decoration piece and I kind of want to make more of these decoration pieces. So yeah, we're done and I really love how it turned out and also I want to thank Robotime Official for sending this DIY kit to me so that I can customize it. Also, if I inspired you to customize your own DIY kit from Robotime Official, you have now the chance to get 20% off by using the code MOONLIGHT20 on their website, link in the description box below. And please tag me if you customized your own DIY kit, I would love to see it. Also, I want to thank all of my patrons, Akanaceles, Andrea, Ashley, Brittany Busquet, Karina Fröhlich, Cassia Streamland, Crystal1314, D2, Diana Rast, Diana the Doll Fairy, Dog's Brand New Look, Emily Erickson, Glass Jewel, Gypsy Aria, Jacqueline, Jetta Grace, Kiwi of Doom, Cornelia Loki S, Leila Soto, Luna and Stella Dots, Mira, Nicole, Pride Crochet, Kirin Doll, Rachel Gadlin, Rinse and Mori, Sally L, Sananas, Sophie Lesher, Stubby and the Kids and Sugarlong Gift Shop for all of your support. Thank you so, so much. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for some more custom fun. See you guys in the next video and have a beautiful creative day. Bye!